Red? Yellow! Red? Yellow? Red? Yellow? Mm -mm. Red? Mm -mm. Yellow? Mm -mm. Red? Yellow? Red, yellow, 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 red, yellow. Red, blue, red, blue, mm -hmm. red, mm -mm. blue, mm -mm. red, mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. red, blue, red. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Purple. Yellow. Blue. Yellow Blue 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 Green. All right, we've got some all new toys from Disney's Cars 3. These fun playset toys came from Toys R Us. We got a lot of the new cars like Jackson Storm. I guess he's the bad guy from the new movie. And we got this fun pack with Sterling, who's a good guy, and Cruz Ramirez. I think she's Lightning McQueen's friend, too. All right, these look like some really fun cars, so let's go ahead and open them up. Let's open up Jackson Storm first. All right, he's a really sleek looking car. I guess he can go really, really fast. I guess he's gonna give Lightning McQueen a run for his money, huh? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, he's so fast, he's ready to pop right on out. All right, here's Jackson Storm. Man, that is a cool looking car. He's got this dark gray, almost black exterior, but he's got these blue details and highlights on him. Man, I bet this car can go super fast. Jackson Storm! Ka-chow, ka-chow! <laughs> Wait a second. Ka-chow is what Lightning McQueen says. That's probably not what Jackson Storm says. All right. So we'll put Jackson right there, and we'll open up our two friendly cars. All right, I like the cars that are friends. Let's see what we have here. Okie dokie, got them halfway out. I'm glad they're so easy to open, that's nice. Okay, get the rest of our trash out of the way. We always want to make sure that we stay nice and clean. Okay, let's get out Sterling first. I think Sterling was in Cars 2, right? Wasn't he the spy car? Uh, he's got a little gray here, he's got a funny little smile on his face. He looks much friendlier than Jackson Storm, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's got a silver, just solid silver paint on him, huh? That's pretty cool. Does he have anything underneath? No, he just rolls his wheels around. That's pretty nifty. Let's put him over here. All right, and then this one is another new one from Cars 3. This is Cruz Ramirez. Now, she is really cool looking. I like her a lot. She looks like she can go really fast. She's a kind of a sports car, and she's a bright yellow, almost like the sun. 
I like that a lot. She's got uh, a lot of detail on here. You can see the lights plate. You can see she's got a little grin, but it's kind of a mischievous grin. She's ready to go fast. Vroom, vroom. I wonder if she or Jackson Storm goes faster. She's got this little red logo right here. All right, so there's Cruz. And it looks like she had a little dirt on her hood. That's okay, we clean her off. Okay, so we got Cruz, we got Sterling, and Jackson Storm. Let's take a look at all of them together. Jackson Storm is dark gray, almost black, with blue detailing. Cruz Ramirez is yellow. And Sterling is, of course, Sterling Silver. All right, here's all of our new Cars 3 toys. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Red. Mm -mm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Red. Mm -mm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow, red, 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 yellow, red. Oh, ah, oh. got a ton of all new toys from Despicable Me 3. I can't wait to open up these toys. We've got Balthazar Brat and uh, Hula Dave and Gru and we have this mini pack figure back here that has all kinds of toys. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Balthazar Bat first. He's the first new villain from Despicable Me 3. He's a pretty cool looking guy. Looks like he has, likes to wear a big purple suit with these pointy shoulder pads. And he really likes chewing bubble gum, huh? Let's see if we can get into there. Doesn't look like it'll be too difficult. Come on out, Balthazar brat. All right. Now this guy just loves the 80s. Woo, whoops, we dropped his little stand. Better get that. Here we go, we got it. So this, I guess, helps him stand up. All right, let's pop him out of there. Man, what a goofy haircut this guy has. Look at that. He's got that big bushy thing on top. He's got a party action back here in the back. Oh, he's got a little bald spot too. <laughs> oh man, that is a very silly figure. Let's see if he can move around. Because I think he's also really good at dancing, right? Oh yeah, look at that. He can wiggle his, wiggle his uh, torso around. Can we go all the way around? 
Whoa! He can spin all the way around. Man, those are some crazy dance moves. I wish I could dance that good. <laughs> Does his head move? Oh yeah, we can pose them all ki different kinds of ways. Wacha! Woo! All right, that's really neat. Let's see if we can get his, get his arm around behind him. No, that arm won't go over, but this arm can go backwards. That's pretty cool. Let's put him on his little stand here. He's got these uh, crazy shoes. All right, there's Balthazar. Now let's open up Hula Dave. Dave, of course, is a minion. And I guess this little one likes to hula. <laughs> what a silly minion. I don't think he had anything to stand on in here. He just stands up by himself. Banana! <laughs> Banana! <laughs> Oh man, Hula Dave, you are very silly looking. Now it said he was posable. I don't know. Oh yeah, we can kind of move his arms around a little bit. Can we Can we turn his head? No, it doesn't look like we can turn that. That's a little disappointing. Looks like all we can really do with Hula Dave is just kind of wiggle his arms around a little bit. So he can kind of do a little Hula Dance. <laughs> okay, well that's pretty cute, but I think I like Balthazar better. Looks like we can move him around a lot more. I like toys that you can really play with. Alright, looks like he's having a hard time standing up, so we're just going to lay him down like that. Okay, now we've got Gru, and Gru is the minion's boss. He talks kind of funny like this. I don't know, is that how Gru sounds? I don't know if I can do a very good Gru voice. <laughs> he has a kind of a Russian accent. Okay, children, now Gru is ready to come out and party! Alright, there we go. So here's Gru. <laughs> I'm so despicable! <laughs> Alright, so Gru can move his arms around a lot more than Hula Dave can. Looks like you can wiggle his arms left and right. So we can do that. Can I move his legs at all? Oh man, can we not lose? Okay, we can, we can make him spin around. He can say, What a wonderful world! <laughs> I see skies are blue. I see red roses too. I watch them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, I am Gru. That was a great song, Gru. Thank you for singing for us. Can we spin his head around any? I don't think we can spin his head. So it looks like Balthazar is actually the most flexible of all these toys. So he's kind of my favorite so far. All right. But now we've got this huge mini pack. How many figures do we have in here? Let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Eight toys are in this one box. Oh man, I can't wait to pop all these out. Let's start playing with them. Let's see what we got here. Oops, I kind of tore the back a little bit, but the back has these fun backgrounds for each of them. It has minions getting off a plane, it has uh, minions on an island, it has uh, some cars, it has Gru's twin brother Drew, it has all these little protesting minions, these little jailbird minions. Some 80s robots and some more 80s stuff for Balthazar. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, pop that out. Now we have these little mini figures. Let's see this one first. So this looks like kind of a tourist minion, I guess. He's got these funny little pink sunglasses. I don't know why he needs sunglasses if he already has goggles. How's he gonna wear those? But he's got a little white, uh, white t-shirt here and blue jeans and purple flip-flops it looks like. That's a really silly outfit, even for a minion, who are usually silly. So we'll put him down right here. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, we've got another Hula minion. This one would go well with our little Hula Dave. He's a lot smaller than Hula Dave, isn't he? This one's small, and this one's big. That's a good way for us to learn sizes, isn't it? But, sometimes your perspective can throw things off. For example, watch this. If I move him closer, and I move Hula Dave further away, now they look like they're the same size, don't they? <laughs> but really, Hula Dave is much bigger than this little one. 
Let's see what other toys we have. Oops, we knocked over Balthazar. That's okay, all of our other toys are knocked over. Oh, this one's really cute. It's a little itty bitty tiny Gru. He's a minion sized Gru. <laughs> That's really funny. Now we can put him next to Big Gru, and it's like he has a little mini me. <laughs> Once again, we can see that this is much bigger than this. But if we move this one closer, and we move this one further away, then it looks like this one's the big one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's silly how that works, isn't it? Well, we'll put Little Gru over here with Big Gru. All right, who else do we have? Ooh, we got Drew next. Now, Drew is Gru's brother. And it looks like he has uh, blonde hair. Gru's bald, but... Drew, uh, he wears this white suit instead of this black suit, and he's got long, flowing, blonde hair. <laughs> That's very silly. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what he's like in the new movie. Let's put him right here. Okay, here's just a regular old minion. Looks like he's uh, he's got his mouth open like he's singing something, or maybe he's asking for banana! But, uh, yeah, he's pretty much your standard minion. This is what we come to expect from all the other minion movies. So he's not too special, but uh, he's welcome to join the party. All right, what else do we have here? We have a oh, now this looks like Kevin from the Minion movie, but he's in a he's in a prison outfit. It looks like. Let's see if we can show that a little better. Yeah, he's got this uh, black and white stripes. So I don't know what he did to get put in jail. I guess he was a bad Minion, huh? Oh well, we'll have to put him over with these. All right, next up we have this fun little robot. I don't know what his story is. Let's see if we can get him out of here. It's kind of tricky. Come on out, little robot. Oh, geez. There we go. It's a robot, but it looks like a, a really old-fashioned robot. It's really blocky and has these kind of antennas and wires and buttons poking out of it. I bet that this robot is probably a friend of Balthazar Brat, because Balthazar really likes the 80s, and this robot looks like it's from the 80s. So we'll put him over there next to Balthazar. And then finally, we've got a little teeny tiny Balthazar. Look at that. Oops, <laughs> almost dropped him. Okay, now this one can't move his arms or legs, so he's nowhere near as flexible as this one. But you can see, we can put them next to each other and kind of look at the sizes here. Which one is bigger? It's this one, right? And this one is smaller. Yep, but once again, we can change our perspective we can put this one really far away, and we put this one really close, and this one looks bigger, doesn't it? Yep. We have to make sure we're looking at things the right way. All right. So let's take a look at all of our Despicable Me th three toys together. I don't know if I can hold them all at once, because we got so many. We got Balthazar, we got Gru, we got uh, Luau Dave, we got a bunch of different minions, uh, and we got a little mini figure of Gru, and of course we got a mini figure of. Gru's brother Drew as well. So here they all are, you can kind of see them. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and be a good friend to everyone around you. If you really like this video, try checking out some of these other ones. They're a lot of fun too.